What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today we got an RTA. It's an MTL RTA from Gas Mods. It's called the Palace. Or Palace, and they spelt it wrong. I think it's the Palace. I think that's what it is. I know in the comments right now, there's that dude that knows everything. Oh, no, it's Palisades Parkway in New York. Anyway, so yes, the Palace MTL RTA. Let's go to the dive down. I'll show you guys everything about it. We'll do coil placement, cotton, come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Palace MTL. And here's the packaging. The Palace RTA by Gas Mods comes in. Inside the packaging, you will get a user manual, a spare 510 pin. You'll also get two extra pole screws, O-rings, and this little flathead screwdriver. Gas Mods also includes these two pieces right here, which basically changes the look of the tank. The tank will have a glass tank. This here will give it a partial stainless steel tank and then this plastic piece. And all you do here is just screw these two together. Let's get that there. There you go. Just like that. As you can see, and I'll show you guys that in a second, how it goes on the tank. And here is the Palace RTA by Gas Mods. 22 millimeter tank. As you can see, this is glass. You have 510 drip tip on top. You do have top fill. It's got knurling all around there. Make it easy. It's a little quarter turn, as you can see there. There's your fill ports. You can see a little the locking system, the way it works. Got these two little tabs right there, and they interlock right inside here. On the bottom, you do have your airflow controller, and there is like a ball bearing in there. You can kind of hear it making a clicking sound. So these are all your different airflows that you have. I looked to see what sizes these are. I couldn't find any information on the sizes, and I couldn't find any information on how much liquid this holds. There's the bottom of the RTA. It does say Palace, designed by Gas Mods. You have a gold-plated 510. Now, you have no stopper on this. As you can see, this just constantly turns. So it's a little tricky. You gotta grab it from the knurling and turn like that. So you basically gotta hold it tight, turn it, releases. There's the build deck. Before we look at the build deck, there's the inside of the chimney. Here's your glass. Pop that off. Then you would grab this piece, put that on, screw that down, and you just change the look of the tank. And there is the build deck. So it's using, as you can see, flathead screws, got little lips on both sides to keep the coil in place. Your cotton will go right down this channel here and here. You're gonna see right there, you got three holes on that side, three holes on the other side. That's where your liquid's gonna enter and absorb to the cotton and go to your coil. There's the opening here where your airflow is going to come up. Kind of big of an opening. So basically what they're doing is they're going by this airflow on the outside to cut it down. So you're not going to get that proper MTL, in my opinion, with this. But it would have been nice if there were some airflow inserts for this. All right, so let's do a coil placement on here. I'm going to be using these coils right here, some Coilology MTL coils, MTL fused Claptons. You could get them on hitthatjuice.com. There's the coil. I'm just going to slip it right in there. See that? It's going to go right under the post. This one here, I have to raise that screw up just a little bit more. There we go. See that? Slip right in. I'm just going to remove that coiling rod. Center it. Put my fingers over it. And then tighten down the post screws. There we go. Got the coil in place. Coil is a 2.5 millimeter inner diameter. You could get a 3 millimeter there. Now they're calling this airflow on here also a U-shaped airflow. I guess this part here because of the U. Yeah, I don't understand if that's going to do anything for you as it being a U-shaped airflow. Now you could do it belly down. So this way the coil head could be lower. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it like that. I could, if I want to, just grab my coiling rod and do one of these. See that? And just bring that coil down. I think right about there is good. All right, now we're going to snip the leads. I'm just going to pull it up. As you can see there, you do have a little bit of room to spare. But go as close as possible in there and snip. All right, now we're going to get the hot spots out. Give it a few scrapes. I am pulsing it at 15 watts. Coil should be like a 0.4 resistance, if I remember correctly. There we go. Glowing beautifully. I think I said 0.4, I meant 0 0.8. All right, and there's some cotton. I'm just using some regular Japanese organic cotton. All right, got it passed through. I'm going to cut it right about there. Cut it there. 
All right, now we're gonna grab the tweezers. Give it just a slight fluffy comb out on both sides. Oh, you guys want a little bit of that under tickle? There we go, a little under tickle action too. Now put the cotton right down inside the channel. I'm telling you, these tweezers, just love them. I love them, they're just perfect. Always keep them clean too. Never use dirty tools for your cotton because the dirty tools, when you do your cotton, will change the flavor of your liquid. Also your fingers, hands, always clean your hands when doing builds. Clean your hands before because you don't want those oils or anything that you've touched to transfer on your cotton, on your coils and so forth. There we go. There's the cotton. Gonna add a little bit of liquid on top just to get it started. Put on the top cap and I'm gonna use this top cap here. Screw that down. Open up the top gonna fill it. Now I got three mls of e-liquid inside here. So I'm not sure if this holds two or four, so I'll just put three and I'll be able to judge it after that. All right, so as you could see, three mls brought it right up to the kidney hole. So that's it right there. Three. Wow, what a guess that was, huh? So three ml e-liquid capacity for this. And here are the other two colors they're gonna be selling. This one here is like a sandblasted stainless steel. And then you got over here the black, matte black with the gold. So yeah, the gold. Let's put on the sleeves for both of these. All right, there's the black. Pop that on. And you can see with the black, you'll be able to see that gold ring right there. Wow, the O-ring is pretty tight on this one here. The other ones I didn't have an issue but for this black version, I've been having issues with the O-rings on here, as you can see. And there you go, there it is all together. I kind of wish that wasn't there. And you could see there how that ball bearing is now on the wrong side of the airflow. That's what I was talking about with the airflow. So right about there, I think right now, yeah, now the airflow is good. And this does come out. And there's that ball bearing I was talking about. So yeah, no stopper on here. Kind of wish there was a stopper and there's the opening. And there is the sandblasted. The sandblasted and stainless steel look good. The black, eh, the gold messes it all up. So while recording this video, I did message gas mods and told them about the issue, like that right there, you know, tolerance. And they told me that these are just basically review versions, sample versions. They're not the mass produced versions, the retail versions of this and all those tolerances will be fixed. They will have no issues when they release. So there you go. That was the Palas MTL RTA by Gas Mods. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you go. That was the up close of the Palas MTL RTA and I got it on the Duke, the clear Duke V2. Mike, your thoughts on this one, please. Pros and cons. We will start off with cons. First con doesn't have to be... You know what? The glass breaking, they told me, whatever, I'll let that slide. Well, you guys saw that, so just be weary of it. All right. Now, cons for this. The MTL on here is not the greatest, and it has to do with the opening on the inside. It's too big of an opening. I get Weird sounds. So anyway, right now I have it on, there's one, two, three, there's six openings. I got it from the smallest up, the third opening. So I'll be the third smallest opening. Yeah, that's where I got it right now. 18 watts, let's have vape. It works, it's a nice MTL. It's not bad, it's not a bad MTL. Now, I'm gonna, have, because it's on the Vicious Ant, I have to actually turn to get to the airflow to adjust it, which I can't even do it. I have to actually take it off the mod. The, you know, the Vicious Ant has that lip right there, so it kind of disturbs me from opening this up. So I'm gonna open it up right now to a fourth hole. So a little bit more airflow than what I had before. Put on the mod. Hopefully the microphone picked that up. Some weird noises coming out of here. And that has to do with the pressure, the air pressure for MTL. It's not, it's not doing it proper. Now I'm going to open up to the next opening, a little bit bigger. Second to last opening. All right, 18 watts. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, I like gas mods, man. But when shit like this happens, uh, I think they need to stick with uh, RDAs. Yeah. Uh, or someone's got to beta test this shit. Alright, fully open now. I ain't making this shit up. You could do a restrictive direct lung with it too. Like that, but that noise. I don't know, it reminds me of something. I don't know what I can't I don't know. So anyway, let me cut down the airflow to where I had it before. The third opening. So I'm getting it to that tighter MTL. And when I do that, that noise, that woo sound goes away. Right, so the other two airflows make noise. They make noises. And someone's like, oh, Mike, it's the way you have the coil. What do you think? This is the first coil build I've put in here. I've changed it up. I've done, I can't, that noise. So anyway, yeah, it's going to have to be a con for airflow. All right, let's get into pros. I like the build deck. I'll give them a pro. I like the two different tanks you could make it. You could have it like this, or you could have it all glass. I like that. That's stuff they're going to have to get a pro. People always complain they don't like plastic, so that solves that. Very nice. What else, Mike? Drip tip's comfortable. Top fill is nice. Core to turn. You get uh, extra O-rings, extra post screws. No coils or nothing added in there. Would have been nice if they would have added something a little extra inside there. Uh, oh, back to cons. No locking system with this. It's when you want to unscrew to get the build deck out, you have to make sure you're holding it tight. Now... Another thing, just to show you guys, this is where I think they should have been maybe reverse threaded something. I don't know, but if I go to unscrew, if you could see the tank right there, I could only unscrew from the knurling. Now, if I grab it with this tank section on there, not the glass, with this tank section, and I go to unscrew, your this plastic tank part starts unscrewing also. So you got to like hold it tight like that, grab it from here, and crank it open you know what i'm saying so it's yeah 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 it's it's one of those deals yep it's one of those deals so anyway there is no lot it would have been nice if there was some sort of locking system for the airflow control ring on there to kind of prevent all that unnecessary everything else opening up on you all right so that's gonna have to be a con mike how's the flavor on here hopefully this will salvage it for these guys anyway let's have a vape I have my Chicago MTL vape, 12 milligram inside here, PKG liquid. I mixed a little bit of the Atlanta. For those people that don't know what that is, Chicago and Atlanta, hit that juice.com. You'll see what it is. It's on there. But anyway, the flavor is great on here. That's, I could say, honestly, nice flavor on here. But the other stuff, gas mods, you need to like fix some of these things before releasing this, in my opinion. I think you should. Maybe tone down the airflow on the inside you don't need too much effort this is an mtl rta the opening on the inside where it's under the coil is too big cut that in half you don't need all these big openings that are on here that's what i think in my opinion all right so one more vape and there you go that was the palas mtl rta by gas mods in the description below i will have no links to this no no i will not i'm not allowed the YouTube policy thingies won't let me, but I do have links to advocacy and my personal links down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and...